the wild financial world. 10 best Wall Street movies. The trading of stocks, options, commodities futures and the law of money were common themes and accounts of spectacularly successful careers as well as crushing career losses. In this video, you will gain a deeper understanding of the movies considered the most famous depictions of finance and stock market throughout cinema history. These movies typically have intriguing stories and great actors, ensuring they are entertaining. Some are based on actual events, some are works of fiction, while others are simply excellent examples of action thrillers or even comedy. By the way, this is Skillset, and this is the channel where we discuss finance, business, marketing, money, and of course, all things crypto, NFT, metaverse, and blockchain related. We are just another group crazy about those things and your entertainment. Don't forget to like the video if you find it helpful. Click the subscribe button to stay updated on the happenings of the financial market. So back to it. Here's our list of the top 10 movies about finance and the stock market worth watching. Number 10. Rogue Trader Rogue Trader is the autobiography of Nick Leeson, starring Ewan McGregor as Nick Leeson, but directed by James Dearden. Nick Leeson, a young man with big dreams and wide eyes, is intent on climbing the professional ladder and becoming more than just a bank teller. When his company, Bearings Bank, allows him to go to Jakarta, Indonesia, to settle a problem that everyone else is running away from, he takes it with both hands and makes the most of the situation. After meeting and marrying Lisa, played by Anna Friel, in Jakarta, he moves to Singapore with her after accepting a job offer from a bank to establish the bank's future options trading operation. During this time in Jakarta, Nick is permitted to run the floor trading and the back office facilities, but the bank requires him to hire low-wage workers who lack specialized knowledge. This is done so that the bank may save money. Even though he broke trading laws and covered losses in secret, his first year of trading was a huge success and he made substantial profits for the bank. Nick completely loses control of his emotions after losing his unborn child. He starts gambling recklessly with other people's money, which causes the bank's finances to fall apart and the bank to go out of business. Number 9. Too Big to Fail The American television drama Too Big to Fail was initially shown on HBO on May 23, 2011. It was based on the non-fiction book of the same name written by Andrew Ross Sorkin and titled Too Big to Fail, the inside story of how Wall Street and Washington fought to save the financial system and themselves. 2009 Curtis Hansen directed this movie and starred some famous actors such as James Wood, John Hurd, William Hurt, Erin Dilley, etc. Too Big to Fail provides a glimpse of the conversations between significant participants during the 2008 financial crisis which took place from March until about the middle of October. In 2008, when Lehman Brothers were on the verge of going bankrupt, the company's CEO, Richard S. Foles Jr., refused to acknowledge the shortcomings of his bank and instead blamed the falling share price on short sellers. He asked Warren Buffett for money and tried to merge with the Bank of America, BOA, and Barclays. As a result of the refusal of the then Treasury Secretary, Henry Hank Paulson, to authorize the use of public funds to rescue Lehman, the company filed for bankruptcy in September 2008. Number 8. Enron, The Smartest Guys in the Room Directed by Alex Gibney, The Smartest Guys in the Room is a documentary on the fall of the Enron Corporation. It portrays the company's flawed and unethical business strategies and how those practices contributed to its demise. This story, narrated in chronological order, shows how Enron went from being the seventh largest business in the United States to filing for bankruptcy in less than a year. The focus is on human drama, ranging from attempted suicide to the termination of 20,000 employees. The characters of Ken Lay, Jeff Skilling, Lou Pei and Andy Fasto take center stage. Along the process, we observe how Enron manipulates California's deregulated power market, gets a free pass from Arthur Anderson, which approves the questionable market-to-market -market accounting and uses greed to take advantage of financial institutions such as banks and brokerages. Number 7. Wall Street – Money Never Sleeps Wall Street – Money Never Sleeps is an American drama and thriller film released in 2010 and directed by Oliver Stone. This is Stone's first attempt at directing a sequel and it's a continuation of the Academy Award-winning film Wall Street from 1987. Michael Douglas appeared in the movie once again in his role as Gordon Gecko. Some other famous actors include Cher LaBeouf, Eli Wallach, Susan Sarandon, Josh Brolin, Carey Mulligan, Vanessa Felito, and Frank Langella starred in the film as supporting characters. The story's primary focus is on Gordon Gecko, 
who plays the role of an anti-hero rather than a villain throughout the course of the movie. The plot follows Gecko's efforts to assist Wall Street before the impending crash of the stock market, as well as his efforts to mend the relationship between him and his daughter Winnie. He was doing this with the assistance of Jacob, who is engaged to Winnie. In exchange, Gecko assists Jacob in exacting his vengeance on the one whom Jacob holds responsible for the death of his mentor. The movie story and script for it were written by Brian Burrow, Alan Loeb and Stephen Schiff. Stone Douglas and Edward R. Pressman were the producers of the movie, while Eric Kopoloff was the co-producer and Alessandro Carmen and Celia D. Costas were the executive producers. Number 6. Margin Call This movie's all-star cast, written and directed by J.C. Chandor, Margin Call makes it possible for the film to live up to its reputation as the most insightful Wall Street movie ever made. Margin Call is a suspense film that takes place in the high-pressure environment of the financial industry. It follows the major characters at an investment firm through one dangerous day in the beginning stages of the financial crisis that began in 2008. After the entry-level analyst Peter Sullivan, played by Zachary Quinto, discovers information that might lead to the collapse of the company, the plot takes a turn for the dramatic. As a series of decisions, both financial and moral, bring the lives of everyone involved to the verge of catastrophe. Margin Call is a captivating investigation of the human components of a theme that is much too frequently limited to political problems. Number 5. Trading Places When it was first released, Trading Places was regarded as a massive success as it made more than $90.4 million at the box office, making it the fourth highest grossing film of 1983 in North America. Trading Places is a comedy film released in the United States in 1983 and directed by John Landis. Timothy Harris and Herschel Weingrod wrote the screenplay for the film. Jamie Lee Curtis, Dan Aykroyd, Denham Elliott, Eddie Murphy, Ralph Bellamy and Don Amici are among the famous actors that starred in the movie. Aykroyd acted as Louis Winthrop III, the wealthy commodities broker, and Eddie Murphy played Billy Ray Valentine, a low-class street hustler in the film. Randolph and Mortimer Duke, Louis Winthrop's bosses, decide to switch his life with that of Billy Ray Valentine. Lewis and Billy have difficulty adjusting to the new way of life. However, they quickly become aware of the Duke's plot and band together with a prostitute named Ophelia to execute a successful counterattack against the Dukes. Number 4. The Big Short Adam McKay wrote and directed the biographical comedy drama film The Big Short, released in the United States in 2015. It is an adaptation of Michael Lewis's book of the same name, published in 2010. Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Ryan Goslin and Brad Pitt are some of the famous actors who starred in the movie. It was released by Paramount Pictures on December 11, 2015. When four outsiders observed what the major banks, media and government refused to see, the global collapse of the economy, they came up with the idea called the Big Short. Because of their ambitious investment, they find themselves in the seedy underbelly of contemporary banking, where they are forced to investigate everyone and everything. Number 3. Inside Job Inside Job is the first film to uncover the startling truth behind the economic catastrophe that occurred in 2008, and it was directed by Charles Ferguson. Millions of individuals have been forced out of their homes and out of work as a direct result of the global financial crisis, which cost over $20 trillion. Through comprehensive research and interviews with important financial insiders, politicians and journalists, the film Inside Job recounts the creation of a corrupt business. It then reveals the toxic relationships that have compromised politicians, academic institutions and regulatory bodies. Inside Job shines a brilliant light on the cooperation between governmental agencies, the large financial service businesses and the swarms of insiders who slopped at both sides of the trough. This is perhaps the most critical argument that the movie makes. In a nutshell, Inside Job sheds light on the conflicts of interest between brokerage, government and regulatory agencies. The movie features Matt Damon as the film's narrator. It was shot in several countries including the United States, Iceland, England, France, Singapore and China. Number 2. The Wolf of Wall Street The Wolf of Wall Street, directed by Martin Scorsese, is a picture of uncontrolled hedonism and greed on Wall Street. It is darkly humorous and ranks among the master filmmaker's greatest works of the past decade. In general though, the film's accuracy is quite remarkable and does an excellent job of communicating the actual events. The crazy antics in The Wolf of Wall Street really happened in real life. The true events that inspired the film The Wolf of Wall Street were detailed in Jordan Belfort's biography of the same name which was published in 2007. The book describes Belfort's days as a white-collar criminal and financial fraudster. 
Stratton Oakmont was a highly successful over-the-counter brokerage house when it was first established by Jordan Belford, who is played in the film by Leonardo DiCaprio. However, the company was eventually closed down in the 1990s. The Wolf of Wall Street not only discusses the financial con games that his company participated in, but it also details some of Jordan Belfont's most outrageous exploits. These exploits include money laundering, drug usage, crashing a helicopter, sinking a yacht and many more. And if you believe Time magazine, all those crazy scenes and more really happened. Number 1. The Wall Street Wall Street is an American drama that was released in 1987. It was written by Stanley Weiser and Oliver Stone and was directed by Oliver Stone. In the film, Michael Douglas acted as Gordon Gecko, a wealthy and ruthless corporate raider. This is possibly the most famous role that Michael Douglas has ever played. And Charlie Sheen stars in the role of Bud Fox, a young stockbroker who is determined to be successful. Wall Street is defined by a series of moral tensions that pit riches and power against simplicity and honesty. These conflicts give rise to the city's unique culture. The movie makes the case that the vast majority of small investors are fools and that men like Gecko are the ones who make the real money in the market. These are the people who swoop in and buy whole companies from right under the stockholders' noses. If you are a prospective financial guru, these movies are a must-see. Even if you aren't a money pro, these films can open you up to the insane and wild financial world. We have come to the end of this video. Have you seen any of these movies? Are there movies you think we've missed? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.